was Matthew 5, 43 to 48. Matthew 5, 43 to 48. Thank you, Jesus. I believe for those of you who to write you might have gone home last week and uh, charged yourself on some of our discussions regarding love. Amen. Those who are married, those who are still searching and looking for, I believe you have enough nuggets to work with. Amen. Please don't trudge them. Amen. Don't trudge them. The students of history do not uh, learn from history, then history is bound to repeat itself. Wisdom is the application of acquired knowledge. Wisdom is the application of acquired knowledge. Please take your time, chat yourself, encourage yourself. Maybe in marriage or you're going to marry, you're going into marriage. You're going to a marriage. A brother just stated here that he's in to 23 years of marriage. I wish you can sit him down and ask him what he has, what he has learned in those 23 years. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord in Jesus. So the hoary gray hair of an elderly man is not just there for nothing. And it's very published. It's called wisdom. It's act wisdom. It's pin wisdom. The hoary gray hair. Thank God I have none. Praise Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. God is love. God is love. And whoever wants to associate with this God must love God and love his neighbor. Hallelujah. So, Matthew 5 from 43 to 48. Ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that cause you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he make his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and send rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same. And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the public answer. But ye therefore, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. But I say, Father, I want to thank you this morning once again. Your, the mystery of love it's incomprehensible to human mind. But we humble ourselves before you this morning as family, as the body of Christ, for a direction, for a leading. Let grace accompany your word even as we discuss this topic, love. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we start a discussion by saying God is love. That's a statement. But how many of us really, really believe in it? How many of us believe that God is love? So then why do we complain all the time? If you really believe God loves you, why do you complain? Why do you complain? So what a shape. The word that we speak is very shape. It is the doing of the word that honors God, not in the hearing. 
Not in the speaking. It is the doing. The walls are sheep. Anyone can quote anything and speak anything. But does it really settle in our mind? Do we really apply the word that we believe or that we are professing? And that is where the problem lies. When I was asking God, is love, everybody know, yeah, God is love. Okay, everybody know God is love. Why do you complain in your situation? Where you know a loving God cannot abandon you or forsake you or ignore you or treat you badly. Then why do you complain? It's because we don't really believe that God loves us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For God loved the world so much that he gave us his only begotten son. John 3 says, see. For God loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. And whosoever that believe in him will not do what die, but they will have what? They will have life and have it in abundance. That's love. That's love. Romans 5, 8 says, God expanded his love towards us. God showed. He demonstrated his love towards us that while we collectively were still sinners, he gave us his only son to come and die for us. We did not merit it. We did not work for it. We did not earn it. We did not even ask for it. While we were yet sinners, he said, Romans 5, 8, say, God showed, God commanded, God showed the world that I love you. Yes. Though you are all sinners, but I love you. So, so in response to my love towards you, I give Hallelujah. my only begotten son mm -hmm. to you. He didn't do anything to deserve it. He loves you. So the question will be, how do we, how do we, how do we demonstrate our love? If God demonstrated his love by allowing his son to die for us, how do we demonstrate our love to our neighbors, to our friends, to our family members, to people in our swell of influence, people in our contacts? And many of us, we don't talk to them anymore. But they're still in our phone book. <laughs> how do we show the world that we love them? Jesus Christ came into the world, and this was, this was what he meant. Uh, love your friends and hate your enemy. That's what that was what Jesus Christ meant. But when he came, there was a paradigm shift. He introduced us into no, not only to love your neighbor or or love your or hate your enemy. He said no, you have to love your enemy. Jesus said we should love our enemies. And this is the reason, this is the shocking part of it. Before he came, in the Old Testament, they had no capacity to love as God loves. Because the Holy Spirit was not given. The Holy Spirit was not given. And without the Holy Spirit, you can't love as God loves. But we receive the capacity, we receive the divine nature of God. According to 2 Peter chapter 1 from verse 1 to 8. You have the divine nature of God. Amen. Second Corinthians 5, 17 says, every old thing is passed away. We are a new creation. Do you know what it's meant to be a new creation? You are born again. Born of the spirit, not born of the flesh. You have the divine nature of God. Amen. Your body is the temple of God where the spirit of God dwells in. And because the spirit of God dwells in you, you know the mind of God. You know the will of God. Then you have the capacity to love as God loves. Amen. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. You can love your neighbor through Christ that strengthens you. Amen. You can love your enemy through Christ that strengthens you. The love of God. The love of God. Please go back into your books, your 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 notebooks, your diary. All those names you asterisk, and you think they are your worst enemy. They know you. Nobody is your enemy. 
The devil is busy at work in playing on our mind. The devil is the real enemy. The adversary is the devil. Is the devil. And we'll be given the power to go into the world. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. You, you, you did become born again Christian not because of your husband or your wife. Hello? You are not just filled with the Holy Spirit because of your family members. Thank you, Jesus. In Matthew 5, 13 through 16, God said, you are the salt of the world. He didn't say you are the salt of your family. He didn't say you are the salt of your church. Well, of course, we have it. One, one church, but God help us. He didn't say you are the salt of your collective or, 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 your, or your parish. Where you go to church. See, you are a salt to the world. The world. Amen. And you are a light to the world. Yes, sir. Not to the family. Yes, sir. To the world. Not even to the body of Christ alone. Mm -hmm. Not even to Christian. Mm -hmm. See, you are a light to the world. See, let your light shine. Hallelujah. That your good works. Your, your endeavors. That people, believers and non believers, will take notice. Yes, sir. And they will bring the glory unto God. Say, we have identified God's grace in your life. Amen. Now, you, you, you're not responding. Amen. Not just to our family members alone, not just to our loved ones alone. To everybody around us, to everybody around us, to everybody around us, to everybody around us, to, everybody around us, to wherever we go, to whatever we do. Amen. Let people take notice Hallelujah. that indeed we are Christians. Yes, sir. We are Christians. It's a personal conviction. Are you comfortable with the name that people call you outside? Outside this church. Are you comfortable? Okay, don't, 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 don't answer me. Okay, that's what I said. Are you if you're not comfortable there, you have a lot, a lot of work to do. You have a lot of work to do. If you're not comfortable with, with what your husband is saying to you, or your wife is saying to you, then you have a lot of work to do. love of God. Amen. The love of God. Amen. The standard for loving is God. Amen. Can I hear you say amen to that? Amen. The standard of loving is God. Amen. If you don't have God, you can't love. Right. You can be a preacher and you won't love because you don't have God. Can be a Sunday, Sunday school teacher. And you can't love because you don't have God. Go to seminaries and see who saw the lecturer and professors. They will engage you and teach you. They teach you the religious exercise, biblical. But they don't, they don't do it. They do it because that's where they get their money from. That's right. They will get their gifts from. They will teach you, and that's it. It is in the doing. It is in the doing this word that we are known to be God, and we call them God's children. It is in the doing. Not in speaking it. The devil knows the word more than you. And the devil agents know the word more than you. Yes, and they are not moved by the word that you are speaking. It doesn't move yet. Because they know who you are. They know who you are. Let us have God first. Let us have God first. In the economic meltdown of 2008, many of you could bear witness. 
there was a German billionaire who lost three billion out of eight billion in a day. And he went on top of one of his and he, and he committed suicide with four billion in his account. He lost 3.5 billion in a day. He had four billion plus in his account. He went and dumped and died. Committed suicide. Do you, see, do you see what we say? Yeah. Do you see the irony of life? Yeah. Where there is no God, there is no life. Yeah. So when Christians say, oh, the life without Christ is a crisis, people say, oh, it's just a phrase. It's not a phrase. Ah, don't let me think of it now. Four billion. Four billion. Mommy. I, I know people that even with four thousand dollars in Africa, they will become millionaire in it's a matter of time. You have four billion, you are dying. Uh, <laughs> brothers and sisters. Have God. Scripture says in Matthew 6, territory seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It's not just a phrase. It's not just a statement. This is the word of God. This is the reality. This is the bedrock of Christianity. Seek him first. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end of all things. The one who created everything out of nothing. What can God do does not exist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. What God can't do does not exist. It's the matter of every situation. The hopeless situation, he turned it around in the eagle of an eye. That's why he's God. He, don't, he doesn't take permission from no man. He doesn't need your approach. He's God. Don't take your eyes away from him. Don't lose hope on him. Don't be discouraged in pursuing him. When you find him, you have you find, you find everything. Once you find him, you find everything. I don't know how hopeless you should have been. Please, brothers and sisters, be encouraged. Say, people cry for love. They don't love me. They don't want me. Not God. Once you, are, once you understand that God loves you, oh my God bless you. That's why I love you. <laughs> so what matters? You have right to your opinion. You are certain of an individual is based on your opinion. And that's your opinion. It's good. It might be bad to somebody else. It's based on your opinion. It's bad. It might be good to someone else. That's your opinion. Your opinion. That's my sweet heart. Please stand up. Stand up. Let him say it. Say that with me. I love you. I love you today. I love you more. Can, 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 you, can you imagine? Even as everybody are clapping, Pastor Shira is not even clapping. You have right for your opinion. Right. But that is my sister, not your sister. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And that is the truth. If I come to your house and I say, oh, uh, Sister Tree, please can you stand up? That's my sister. You like, I have pass on. I, 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 I don't go. <laughs> and that is the reality. That is what we're dealing with here. That is the reality. That is the truth. Find God. Know God for yourselves. 
He loves you. He loves me. He loves us. He's the reason why we are all gathered this morning. He's the reason. It's not a breakfast. He's the reason. In the midst of the multitude, Jesus Christ called 500. Out of 500, he reduced them to 12. In the midst of those 12 disciples, he had three inner carcass. Out of the three, there is one called the beloved. The beloved. Mommy and the brother and sister. Don't disappear among the multitude. Let him know you. Amen. That you are beloved. Amen. Don't disappear. Don't be among many who calls him, who knows him. Let him identify your, your voice. Anytime, anywhere. Say, Satan, where are you coming from? Say, I have no way, you know. No, I'm from. Say, have you considered my son? Can God say that about you? No. Have you considered my son, Job, he said? Can, can God say that of you? Is God saying that of you now? As you're crying for love. Job was called a righteous man in his generation. That's why God said, he's my son. He's standing right in the presence of God. He abhorred evil. He hated iniquity. He loved righteousness. That was why God could boast of him. Devil, have you considered my son? Are you his daughter? Are you his son? Can he boast of you in the heavenlies among his holy angels and say, Can you see what my son is doing down there? Can you see the impact he's making? Can you see how his light is shining? Can you see how his son is preserving the world? Can God say that of you, Anna? Praise the Lord. As we were Jordan. We read that when Jesus Christ came to John the Baptist, John the Baptist said, no, I, I'm not supposed to be the one to, to baptize you. You, you are the one. He said, no, no, no. He said, in fulfilling our righteousness, you got to do this one. And he, he allowed himself to be immersed to the water. As soon as he was immersed to the water, he was, he was coming out, the Bible said, hell open. And his voice spoke. Listen to me carefully, brother and sister. But God sees you. He knows us. I would say, it's really like a dove came. Jesus Christ. And a voice from heaven said, this is my beloved son. Are you sleeping? No. There is beloved in the kingdom. Instead of running health as for money or position of let's say, run to be God's beloved. God's beloved. I will never suffer my holy one to see corruption. Are you holy inside? Are you holy inside? I'm stuck inside of God. Are you holy? This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. In him I'm well pleased. Are you beloved? If you're not beloved, then how are you crying for love? So when the beloved came into the world, he changed the status quo. Yeah, hate at all, you have been taught, hate your enemy. But what hands caught? Love your enemy. Have, have you been taught when your brother slapped you? You know it, and you said, no, no, no. From now. From now. 
I say, but you see, several times your neighbor be no, 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 no. So you get in the wrong. Say this time around, you say several times seven. Eh? God bless you, Mama. Yeah. That's why I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. What Christ was introducing is this. The time has changed. There is no enemy except that adversary. Amen. Take your eyes away from your neighbors as your enemy. That's what he was introducing unto us. He shoved us back to that, that same sentence. He said, your, your father in heaven allowed both your enemy and yourself to have a garden, a vineyard, to plant your seed and the open heavens and pour rain. Not just on you, you alone, who calls yourself a righteous man, but even to your enemy. And say, okay, if you don't get that one, okay, what about the sun? He allowed the sun, his sun now, to shine upon you and the unjust. What is he saying to you? Okay, okay. Say, in the book of um, Matthew, Matthew 13, from verse 24 to 30. The parable of the stars. Say, say when, when, when the good man sow his seed, they, they went to him, they slept. Why he slept? Say, the bad one went into his vineyard and so tires, wheezed. And when his servant went into the farm, they found out that, no, they were planted good seed, but how come the tires, the wizard? Then he ran up to the master and said, Master, what do you want us to do? Should we operate? He said, no, 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 no. Leave the wheels and the seed together. Do, do you understand that? Yes, sir. He's, she's talking about both, both the unjust and the just. See, the time of the judgment has not come. Leave them. Leave them. Don't go and wheel them out. Because God is a loving, long-suffering God. See anybody as enemy. Amen. Don't see them. They can be a tool in the hand of the enemy today, mm -hmm. and it can be a tool in the hand of God tomorrow. Amen. Don't see anyone. Wipe, wipe that memory. Wipe it off from your mind. Don't consider anyone as your enemy. You, you, you will miss it. You will miss it. You will miss it. Don't see no one as an enemy. You, you know my strength is praying. I pray. I don't mention people's name. There are some prayer we call great glorious prayer, right? In, even in those areas, I don't call people's name. But I stick to the spirit behind them. That is knowledge. You speak to the spirit, not dead. We are wise enough to know the words of the devil. We are not spiritually inclined enough to know the words of the devil. I wake up in the evening and I see my wife. I see somebody in my in my they are like, oh, my hero is after me. Ah. This is just image. The devil can borrow any image. That's right. Very true. The devil can come in any form. Yes, Don't be deceived by the image you see in the dream and you are running into scatter. Oh, my brother is heavy running after me. My mother wants to kill me. Your mother wants to kill you. He didn't kill you where you are. Where you are. <laughs> where you are. Where Coming, 
My mother, are you the one? I will kill you if you don't tell me the truth. The poor woman will say, no, how, how will I do it? What? Say what? It's the truth. But we were delivered so in such a time you can speak as someone filled with knowledge, with spiritual understanding to deliver others. Our common enemy is the devil. And once we love God, the devil is under our feet. It's like 110 verse where say, I will cause to our enemy to be under your feet. That's where they belong. Under your feet. Love God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Forgiveness and unforgiveness is a hard thing for us to, 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 to comprehend. Mm. Yes, I, 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 I forgive you, but I can't forget. <laughs> you have not forgiven yet. Mm. But God said, love them. If you love them, you will forgive and you will forget. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It does not matter what they have done. If you grasp what I'm teaching now, you will know that it wasn't even them who did it. Absolutely. It is the devil. And the devil is not going to use somebody who is not closer to you. He will use somebody close to you to offend you, to afflict you, so that you could be running right as skater. Remember, he come to kill, to steal, to destroy. He come to kill, to steal, to destroy. It's not them. My husband hit me. My wife, it's not them. My in-law, my mother-in-law, it's not them. Our common enemy is who? Say it the way it is. And it's a defeated foe. Amen. It's a defeated foe. We know our line, line. We all need each other. If I believe in my spirit that if, if you are blessed, I'm blessed. Then why would I try to obstruct your blessing? Would that not be out of ignorance? Pure one. Look for if I have the understanding of you. Like a pastor was rightly said in Nigeria when he was interviewed once. He had a lot of, um, you know, young people in Africa in his shop. And all of them had their preach up for debt. So they were asking the pastor, Pastor, when are you going to buy debt? He said, Buy debt. He said, No, I have about 10 of my church members with debt. Why do I need? I don't need no debt if I need it just to talk to them. I need one, and then they, and that is it. Yeah. What are we competing for? Yeah, that's true. Who, are we, who are we competing with? Mm. God bless my wife. She's ending. Hallelujah! One uh -huh. by another. Yeah, to yeah. God be yeah. the glory. Yeah. The it's just going to reverse and be doing their counting, right? Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> Hey, praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't have to be running at that skater. Not at all. No. You see, you see, the position in the house will never change. Yes. 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 Let me let me help you. It doesn't matter how many people you are making. That's true. The position in the house will never change. Remain. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. they, I, where are the men? They are not responding. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, under this topic called love, there is no gender barrier, gender limitation. Or, no. We see each other as God sees us. Do you know why God is blessing your wife or blessing your husband? It could be because of you. Yes. I know that. Amen. I sure know that. You know, you know, God is blessed because of me. You better, you better watch out. Praise the Lord. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. Amen. Lord help us. Hallelujah. Lord help us. The money that I will have, that I will have for my wife, I will not have it. <laughs> Yeah. 
prays as a man, as a woman, that God should not bless you with anything that you will keep from your family, from your husband, from your wife. Pray God should not give them to you. Don't, you, you might not, you might not um, subscribe to all my teachings, but go home and think about it. Amen. Go home and think about it. Amen. Since you'll be hiding from your husband, from your wife, what has improved in your situation? Nothing. Since you'll be keeping the secret, what has improved? Somebody tells me about someone who has stroke, right? Okay, your dad. Let me tell you. This morning, yes. as, I, yes. as I was praying, somebody called me. He traveled home to our place. He was to leave back to Europe today. He, 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 he had stroke on Friday. To say they might stumble to hear it, but the, the, the key thing is if that person had been hiding money, property, everything from wife, from children in his position now, he'll say, Please come, let me tell you everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's my problem. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making fun no, of no. these are the things that keep me that keep me going. And I'm saying it to, to, to you as well. That your life is a grace. Yes, yes. When the time will come to end nobody know, I pray you have longevity of life. Amen. Amen. I pray you have longevity. But if if tomorrow, if today is going to be the end, Amen. who will you be calling? Oh, I kept something in this bank. That bank. And that bank is closed. <laughs> Lost our bond <laughs> become American money. Please straighten out with your husband or your wife when you get home. Amen. Your family member, Amen. straighten out with them. I don't have anyone other than you. Why should I keep anything from you? I don't. No secret bank. And I'm sitting. I'll be sitting for the longer here. If you send any email to me, it's going straight to my wife in phone. Because our phone, our, they all are synced together. Amen. So no secret conversation. Amen. No secret conversation. Amen. You send any email to me, my wife, if what she will see before, before I will be open it. <laughs> and it's available like for, for the ages. And nothing changes. Nothing is going to change it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Our time is up. I know you'll be saying, but Pastor, you don't understand that man. You don't know what he has done to me. I know you'll be saying that. I know. But God is not going to judge you based on what that man is doing or what that man is not doing. God will judge you based on your reaction. The judgment we're talking about is coming. And when he comes, and you are all prepared, God will not ask you, how did your wife, your last day choose you, last day spend her life? <laughs> he will only ask me, oh, you bring your story, story, story. I give you X amount of years. How have you spent it? Absolutely. <laughs> and when I'm still beating about it, we say, no, 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 I have, you have forgotten, I have the whole record here. Okay. He has everything here. Amen. His brother and sisters, in Valentine, they have a nice wedding on the day. Amen. Amen.
global to your uh, fellow member, family members, spouses, over and over wife of Fiesi, and straighten up yourself. Amen. I mean the differences. Amen. Straighten up those differences. Amen. Say it to your face. Amen. I ain't going nowhere. Right. Where do you want to go? 23 years, you are hooked. <laughs> you are hooked Amen. already. <laughs> Amen. Where, where do you want to go? You don't know where, yeah. but you can get it better. We can get our brothers, mommies, okay, uh, not mommies, sisters in the Lord, please. I know many of us are going to, we're going to go there one of these days. Once we get this ring into our hands, we get hooked. Amen. And we believe what we're going to, we, we, we treat our husband shabbily. Please, you have to stop it. Amen. You, you have to stop it. Amen. You have to stop it. Amen. They are your head. Amen. They are the crown over you. Amen. Sherry them and love them. If there's anything a man will love, it's not about I love you. Yes, it's respect. Yes, yes. A man knows you respect. Yes. Once you can respect your husband, they can just give you everything. Amen. Pay number Amen. and everything. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen.